to another video. Today I am bringing you a tag and I feel like I haven't done a tag in a really long time but I'm not completely sure if that is accurate or not but I'm doing one now so that's what counts isn't it. Also it is the perfect time of year to do this tag and I was tagged. So as you can tell from the title of the video today I'm doing the mid-year book freak out tag and I was tagged by Bex from Bex and Books so thank you very much you lovely lady and I am gonna do this. I realise it's now July so we're past mid-year but I'm getting to it now. We're still in the like mid-year phase so it counts. <laughs> I've got the questions on my phone here because I can't be bothered to write them down simply so I'm just gonna read them and go. I have not prepped any answers so this might be a bit all over the place but I'm just gonna do it. Let's have some fun! The first question of the mid-year book freak out tag is the best book you've read so far in 2017. This is a toughie. If we're including rereads on this, then absolutely A Court of Mist and Fury. But I don't think that counts entirely because I read it in 2016 and reread it in 2017. So if we're not including rereads in this, then I would lean towards A Court of Wings and Ruin, which I've got the dust jacket here for because I'm currently rereading again. So I would lean towards saying A Court of Wings and Ruin is the best book I've read so far in 2017. But there's a part of me that wants to say something else. There is a part of me that wants to say The Raven Boys by Maggie Sivoa, which was one of the first books I read this year. I read it back in January and I absolutely adored it and it inspired something within me and I wrote an 11 page review of it and I couldn't stop going on about it. So I was just a little bit obsessed with this book so I kind of want to say this one but then at the same time I feel like with this series it's just got better as it's gone so I loved The Dream Thieves a little bit more and Blue Lily Lily Blue a little bit more and I haven't read The Raven King yet but I will get to that. Can I just say this series as a whole because I honestly as much as this was like my most highly anticipated read of ever it wasn't as good as Akamath so there's that to consider and these just blew my mind so there you go I'm not sure if that is completely an answer but we're in a toss up. The second question is best sequel that you have read so far in 2017. Now again we're on this whole reread thing like does that enough count? I don't think so. So for that I feel like I'm in the same situation like I want to say Akawar because I loved it but then The Dream Thieves blew my mind as well. So are we in a toss up between them? I think we might be. Yeah it's literally the same answer I can't possibly pick between them but they're both sequels that I've thoroughly enjoyed. So we've got The Dream Thieves here by Maggie Stevo, which I loved so much. Aquor again. Sorry. Okay, moving on. Maybe we can answer some different books this time. Uh, question number three. A new release you haven't read yet, but you want to. Easy peasy. Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I am so excited to read this. I had it pre-ordered and I haven't got around to reading it yet and I just want to, but I'm in like a really good reading place right now where everything is exciting me so I just haven't got to it yet because everything is exciting me and I'm being really indecisive about what I should read and stuff so for like the first time in my life I'm reading like multiple books at the same time because I can't pick because everything just sounds so good and this is one I want to give my like whole undivided attention to because I love the first one so much so I really anticipate I'm gonna love this one as well but I just haven't got around to picking it up yet but I will soon I promise. Question number four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year? I don't know. I'm bad with keeping up to date with releases that are coming out until they're like already out. Like I tend to find out about things like a week before their release day. I don't really know what's coming. I mean I know a lot of people are excited about the Wonder Woman thing but I've never read anything from Leigh Bardugo so I'm not really on that train just yet. So I really don't know. I suppose one thing I am looking forward to would be One Dark Throne by Kendall Blake but only because the first one left so much to be desired so I'm hoping the second one delivers more on that and it's the only book that I know of that's coming out this year or in the second half this year and Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas but I'm not even up to that point in Throne of Glass yet so I'm not highly anticipating it but I will get it when it comes out. Is that answer enough? I don't know I'm bad at this. Question number five biggest disappointment. 
I'm afraid it's got to be Crown of Midnight. I really didn't like this book as much as I hoped I would, as much as it was hyped up. Like everything was whiny and annoying and like three notable things happened. Eh, I've gone over this so many times this year so far <laughs> because to be honest, it's the only book I've been disappointed with. At least everything else has given me some sort of pleasure. This I just found irritating. It took me a really long time to read and I didn't get the pleasure I was hoping, but I have heard that the third one is where things get good. So I hope to move on with the series pretty soon. Question number six, biggest surprise. Hmm, I don't know. Let's consult my shelves. Am I allowed to say a book that I'm in the middle of? Because this has surprised me so far. I'm at the point of filming this, I'm only halfway through, but I anticipate I'll probably finish it quite soon because I cannot put it down. I am absolutely loving it. This is just the dust jacket, by the way, because I'm currently reading it. When I got this in the Fairy Loot box, if you've seen my June Fairy Loot unboxing, you'll know that my reaction wasn't that great. I was a bit like, eh, it looks kind of cheap and not that great. And then it was like jumping out at me and I had to pick it up and read it because I was just so intrigued. I've loved every second of it so far. Like I've really enjoyed it way more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was just going to be kind of mediocre, a bit average. I mean I've heard from other people like three star sort of book but I don't know if it's like the mood that I'm in or something but I'm loving it. I mean it's nothing like earth shatteringly amazing, it's not like out of this world, nothing you've ever read before, fantastic. But I'm having a really good time, I'm having fun reading it and I think that is what counts and I am loving it. So yeah, this surprised me with how much I'm enjoying it. Question number seven, favourite new author, debut or new to you? Um, I feel like I've read a lot from new people, like new to me authors this year. I'm finding it quite difficult to actually narrow it down to one because like these authors don't really compare to my favourite authors but they're not new to me. But I'm really enjoying so far. Megan Spooner, Hunted, I really enjoyed. I was conflicted but I really enjoyed it and I had fun with it and as I say fun for me is what counts. Like if I enjoy the reading experience then I don't care if the book isn't earth shatteringly fantastic, groundbreaking, best new thing in the world. Like if I'm having fun with it that's what counts to me. And with Hunted by Megan Spooner I definitely had fun. That also however takes me back to Cora Carmack because Raw I'm really enjoying. I know I haven't finished it yet but I'm having such a fun time reading it and I really think that's what counts. I'm there with them too because I've had such a fun time reading them and I also want to throw in Sarah Rash. I mean I've only read Snow Like Ashes so far and I that was the first book I read this year and I really did enjoy that and that was the first of her works that I'd read so I want to throw her in there as well because they're three authors who I've read for the first time and I had a good time reading. Like as I say not earth shatteringly amazingly brand new and groundbreaking but I had fun and that's what counts. Uh, question number eight, newest fictional crush? My newest fictional crush would be the one I'm crushing on right now which is Locke from Raw. I mean only halfway but I'm crushing on Locke a little bit. Also kind of crushing on Kel from Darker Shade of Magic. I am enjoying his presence in my life. But let's be honest, none of my new fictional crushes will ever compare to Resand because everyone needs Resand in their life especially me. I don't think anyone's really ever going to compare to the fictional crush that Ray Sand is. Question number nine, newest favourite character? Again I kind of want to say Kel because I really enjoy his character not only as like fictional crush material but just as the character that he is. I enjoyed reading about him, I enjoyed learning about him, I've still got so much to learn because I've only read A Darker Shade of Magic currently but I have been enjoying him a lot so him. Similarly though, I could say that I'm really enjoying Rora from Raw. She's great. I'm enjoying learning all about her. Fantastic. Oh my god, how have I not said Gansey? Oh my god, let's go let's go back a bit. I forgot about Gansey. Uh fictional crush, Gansey. I want one of him. Yeah. I like myself some Gansey. Uh newest favourite character, Gansey and Blue, but Gansey, yeah. 
How did I forget about him? How did he slip my mind? He is the perfect answer for both of those questions because Gansey. Question number 10, a book that made you cry. I honestly do not think I have cried this year. I tell you a big fat porker, Aka War made me cry. Not like ugly cry, which is what I wanted from that book. I wanted that book to absolutely break me and make me ugly cry and it didn't and I was disappointed by that. But I did shed a tear at a particular moment that if you have read it, you will know about. If you have not read it, I will not tell you because it is a massive spoiler. I shed a tear for something that happens there. But if you want my opinions on Akawar, go and watch my book Ravel because I get into my emotions a lot on that book. <laughs> Question number 11, a book that made you happy. So many. Oh my god. So many books have made me happy. Akawar made me happy, Hunted made me happy, The Raven Boys made me happy, The Dream Thieves made me happy, Blue Lily Lily Blue made me happy, Raw is currently making me happy, A Darker Shade of Magic made me happy, Snow Like Ashes made me happy. Do I need to keep going? I'm not sure. <laughs> My camera battery is flashing. Wow, I need to hurry up. Um, the last question on this tag is favourite booktube community member and I'm gonna take a leaf out of Bex's book. <laughs> Bex and books, Bex's books. Uh, gonna take a leaf out of Bex's book and I'm not gonna say one. I'm not just gonna limit myself to one because there are so many people that I love so I'm just gonna list a few. First off, Bex herself because she's fantastic and I love her dearly and her videos never fail to make me laugh. She's hilarious. I love the language she uses as much as it sometimes baffles me um, but I love her. G book roast obviously she's like my soul sister i love her dearly jess from between the lines because she's honestly become like one of my best friends i speak to her daily without fail she has become one of my nearest and dearest and i love her kayla because kayla is fantastic and i love her um a path of pages by the way kayla a path of pages um i love her dearly and she is just she just makes me feel warm and I love her. Um, who else is there? There's so many people that I just love and love. I do love you all. You're all my favourite. And that is the end of the tag. So congratulations for making it through this mess. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up. Chat to me down in the comments. Tell me your answers. If you want to do this and you haven't been tagged, consider yourself tagged by me because I'm not going to officially tag anyone. But I'm tagging all of you if you want to do it and if it's not too late <laughs> eh. but yeah anyway thumbs up chat to me down in the comments if you aren't subscribed and you fancy subscribing i'm always eternally grateful for that i upload every sunday and wednesday and some odd days in between if i'm feeling generous and i will see you next time